Hello everyone, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and let me do the quick walkthrough for our Tuesday, June 15th, 2021 Decorative Arts Auction in Local Estates. It's about 450 lots, and you have everything from porcelains and Tiffany and great furniture and lighting and chandeliers and lamps. Uh, so let me just walk around real quick so you can see kind of the overview. 450 lots for online bidding only on bidspirit.com, on live auctioneers, and also on Invaluable. Preview for this auction will be on Monday, June 14th. In-person preview, come on out and take a look, but there's only online bidding. You can leave absentee bids, we'll bid them for you. 25% buyer's premium, 28% on live auctioneers. There's a 3% surcharge if you pay with a credit card in-house. So it's about the same on live auctioneers as it is in-house. All right, so let's do the quick walkthrough. These are all curated items from local estates, from our consigners, uh, everything from uh, antiques to collectibles to sterling silver. Take a look at this nice silver down here. Now I'm gonna walk through the auction in pretty much in order. We start in this section right here, and this is a grouping of great Tiffany lamp bases. These are all amazing lamps. Uh, you have the Zodiac, you have the uh, the ones with the little jewels in top. These are these are awful nice. Kind of pe people wanted to see what these jewels iridescently look like. If you look down from the top, very nice. Now these are all Tiffany. Then you have a nice, uh, some nice iridescent glazed pottery, a nice elegant horse. These, those are Sevs in the back there. Here's some great brass ink wells and cut glass and then we move along this way you know one other thing before we get too far away from the tiffany is uh there's some tiffany uh chandeliers over here that are also this is lot number 10 there's a pair of these tiffany chandeliers actually two pair here they are they're not signed but the drops are decidedly tiffany the uh style of the metal unsigned but of the era for sure all right, let's move around this way. We're up to about lot 30 now. You have some great uh, metal work, some good lamps. Look at these Asian uh, bobs right here. Very cool ca cask of uh, kind of like the brass barrels. There's a little brass covered spittoon type thing. Um, porcelains. Lusters, there's a great little bust right there. It's, it's pretty big. It looks a lot smaller in the picture. We come along here, more these. And these are um, gloves signed by Arturo Gatti. Let me back up a little bit so you can see this showcase right here. Now we're up to lot 7980. Here's a great grouping of silver. Look at this great bowl right here. It is the Wang Hing Chinese Export Sterling Silver Bowl. Look at the quality on this. It's sterling. It's got the decorations all the way around. It looks like it might have had one time had like a gold interior uh, that starts to wear away. It's got the great markings on the bottom. This is Clemens Friedel right here, Pasadena. Great Art Nouveau maker back in the 1900s, early 1900s, 1910 in Pasadena. There's one of those um, marriage cups. These are, this is pretty nice. The, um, the horn with the wrought base right there gives it like a Samuel Yellen look to it. A couple nice uh, metal. Look at this one with the, um, it's got like a monkey on the corner right there. That's lot number 77. All the decorated birds all around the outside. Very, very nice. Look at the size of this one. This is like a European Nouveau. Um, it's signed 800, we didn't test it. It's probably 800 silver, but if not, it's just an amazing piece of silver work. Here's another piece right here with the, uh, the woman on that side, and then you got the man on the other pulling the other direction. This is a sterling flute in here. I guess it's locked up, but there's a sterling flute there. That's lot number 73. This one, the uh, bell push, looks like the um, Guimard bell push. Some nice books. And we're up to about lot 
Uh, almost lot 100. Once we finish that, we get right into these Chinese porcelains. And then um, there's some good sterling here. Those look like Tiffany, those compotes. This is a set of George Jensen sterling flatware. Let me pull one of those out of there. That's what the pattern looks like. It's the um, silver scroll pattern, all George Jensen. Nice little set. Let me pull that out there. You can see how big it is. It's a good set worth a several thousand dollar set. Let's back up this way. These are Lalique on the bottom. That's a Lalique tray. All right, so once we finish there, we're up to about lot number 110 or so. That's in this section over here. Now, in the auction, we do about uh, 50, 40, 50 lots per hour. So you want to uh, gauge that. We have about 450 lots, so this is going to be a 10-hour auction, which is uh, you know starting at 10 in the morning on Tuesday, June 5th. Uh, that's going to be good 8 o'clock at night by the time we're done. Some of this uh, furniture down here, this is a little bit out of order, but they're in the 200s. Let me continue over here. Here's more 100 lots. Look at the size of that Staffordshire dog right there. That's a big one. Not super old. All right, let me come this way. We're into about the lot 200s. You have this nice little block set. You have good um, wall hangings and sconces. Lot 260 is this massive. It's about seven feet tall the urn and the pedestal underneath it. Now, there are two separate lots, one lot 259 and one lot 260, but you don't see them that big. Look at the bucking uh, bowl right there. Look at these great mirrors. There's one in the back here that is a, like a, a Victorian over mirror, and then there's a pair of these seven, eight foot tall mirrors there. So now we're about to lot 255. You have some amazing French chairs. Right here, look at the carving on the sides. That's lot 254. Once we finish there, you have a pair of these chairs with the um, kind of like paneling all the way around the back. Very cool club chairs. I think they're leather. They feel like leather. A little stain on that one. All right, let's walk away this way. There's one of those very cool adjustable kind of size desks. So you can uh, flap all the way up. Look at this table. I th thought this was very dainty and cute all carved it's got the little pull out here it's lot number 274 nice pair of sconces right here 278 look at that old trunk on top all these items are pictured very well on our website uh, on the catalog let me before I go too much further let you take a look at chandelier row there's about five or six chandeliers there including huge uh, alabaster ones, huge, huge crystal chandeliers. Then over here you have another row of chandeliers right along there. So that's a great lot of chandeliers. I'm not sure what lot they are, but they're in the auction. I'm going to just do both sides of this aisle right here. This is the 360s. You have a nice um, kind of decorated chest, some early like Mediterranean furniture, a pair of those chairs, carpets. Here's a nice uh, Painted little vanity. Very dainty. I'm not sure those drawers work. Maybe they're not real. Then you have this super old chest on the bottom. It's got the key. Look at that key. Unbelievable. Definitely a couple hundred years old on that one. Maybe more. Here's another very old chest. Probably a 200 year old one. Kind of like a renaissance. This is very collectible, desirable now is the bamboo, the faux bamboo look. Look at the nice handles. It's got some age to it. It's like hand dovetailed as well. All right, there's a paint piece of ranch oak on the top there. There's a pair of nice nesting tables on 285. Let me continue on. We're going to spend too long on this auction. All right. Um, nice bamboo on top there, silver chest. Little Sheraton chests, campaign chest right here. Look at that one with the kind of the brass corners and the flat handles. This is a, um, what do they call it? A drop down desk. Look at that. Very nice. There you go. That's a drop down desk in the campaign chest. All 
All right, amazing desk here. The top is very nice. We have it all covered up. We had to use it to stack things on, but check out the catalog item for lot number 351 for that desk. Remember, you can come and preview all these items. We're happy to take these items down, let you see the tops of them on uh, June 14th from 10 to 6. Uh, let me continue on. Lot 386, some nice lamps, the great oak cabinet. Around this corner, there's some taxidermy, some a bear carpet. You have the bear uh, mount right there. And look at these amazing lion pedestals right here. They're bronze. They're about four feet tall. They're lot number 402. Uh, so take a look at that one. Those are very cool. These, these are desirable. The, um, the brass bench with the curled sides. Back this way, another nice pair of cobalt lamps. Let me go around the front. Look at this great wicker stroller. There's another kind of gold gilt table. This guy right here holding up his uh, chalices. Great. Got a lot of age to it. It's kind of like a polychrome figure. Lot number 400 is this table right here with the drops. These are nice Victorian style. This is a great uh, little lacquered table. It's got the handle on the side but I guess it's a drawer I mean I guess it's not a drawer is it Maitland Smith yes it is Maitland Smith number 398 so it's uh got the japan look to it but it is a reproduction all right lot number 405 you have these nice sconces here this nice black um black little console great carvings on the back of this chair right here that one's lot number 412 Here's a pair of great, um, what are they? Black cabinets with Asian details. There's some nice metal lamps there. It looks like a nice bronze lamp. Here's more, again, collectible, desirable is the oak or the uh, bamboo, faux bamboo. The ba This is actual bamboo, lot number 424. Moving us down to here, 436, Victorian desk. Nice little clock. All in all, it's a good auction front to back. It's uh, hardly any filler items. It's mostly good, desirable stuff. They couldn't really get too deep into it, but look at the carved legs on that little library table there in oak. Um, I could probably do this whole auction one more time and we'd see items we didn't see the first time all the way through. So good 450 lot auction on Tuesday, June 15th. Bid on live auctioneers on Invaluable or on Bid Spirit. Buyer's premium is 28% with no surcharge for credit cards. In house, you can leave absentee bids, you can leave phone bids. Uh, you can, if you want, or you're willing to start the item at at least 300. Meanwhile, all this stuff back here coming in for our next modern design auction, which is going to be on August 3rd and 4th, 2021, after our vacation. All right, thanks for watching. This has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and we'll see you at the auction, or at least we'll see you picking up at the auction, but we'll definitely see your bids online if you're bidding. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.